Hello, today's devotional can be found in 3 Nephi, chapter 27, verse 10. And if it so be that the church is built upon my gospel, then will the Father show his own works in it. Okay. So this is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It was created by Christ. It is Christ's church. And God shows his own works in that church to those who have prepared and desire to see the works. You see, everyone has the opportunity to see the works of the Lord. And the fact that it is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, hence it cannot be altered by man. However, those who do not wish to see will not be able to see. For they do not wish it, nor have they prepared for it, and that was their choice. And Heavenly Father does not interfere with agency. And our works include our choices and what we choose has an impact upon us. Because what we choose to do shows what's in our minds and in our hearts. And the intent of our minds and hearts guides us. And our actions show what kind of person we want to be. And through our own works, we show God and Jesus Christ whether or not we want their help. And if we want their help, they will give us their help that we may be able to do works that will help further the work of Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. The church is built upon the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hence, it's called the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Man cannot change it. Heavenly Father can show works within it and help those who ally themselves with the church be able to carry out that heavenly work on the earth that all may be able to have that opportunity to partake of the atonement and come to do better and be better. And this church is unique because we care about the salvation of the dead as well. You see, we, the living worthy, who can enter the temples with a special recommend, take names on little cards to the temples and serve as proxies doing work for the dead, that they may also come to know Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ and have that eternal rest after we have prepared for our own eternal rest. So nobody is forgotten in this church. Nobody is forgotten in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints that doesn't want to be. Those who want to be forgotten, well, that's sad, but that's their choice. Heavenly Father will not interfere in agency. But the atonement is there. The works of Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ are in place for those who want them. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.